What's up gamers, Joe Ross here, Cerulean Games, coming to you with another pickup video. This weekend, Brody and I attended the Let's Play Gaming Expo in Dallas, Texas. This was the first time they held this convention, and they did a spectacular job putting this on. Uh, shout out to Christian and Christian and everyone else who made that, that show a uh, tremendous success for everybody. The vendor hall was packed. The tournament uh, area was just full both days. Um, there had to be thousands of people there. Uh, the arcade hall was tremendous. Uh, pretty decent cosplay show. Um, I know Billy and Jay from the Game Chasers came out and did some meet and greets and a panel with some people. Uh, another good panel that they had, uh, some guys from Texas Tech came out and gave an academic uh, panel on game preservation, which was really nice. So, tremendous show. I'm excited to see where this goes in the future. Um, and it also it also gets me excited to get back down there for Retro Palooza next month. So, I'm very happy with this show. <laughs> uh bought a few things, uh, some good stuff, uh, and I want to share it with you. And uh, before we begin, I'll just let you know, most of this will be available at our next show, which is Power Up in Huntington, West Virginia. That's the end of August. I'll talk a little bit more at the end of the video. So, uh, without further ado, let's begin. For PS2, I got The Legend of Spyro, A New Beginning. Pretty decent copy. Uh, we'll be at about 15 bucks on this one. GameCube, I got Warrior World. Need about 20. Three copies of Super Smash Bros. Melee. Two best sellers and one player's choice. Uh, we'll still be at about 50 bucks a piece on these. Seems to be a pretty decent going right out of the show. And they're decent, they're all complete. So. And for GameCube, we also got a copy of Twilight Princess. Uh, this one's getting up there a little bit in price. We'll be in about uh, 55 to 60 range on him. For Super Nintendo, a little bit more of a harder to find game. This is Rock and Roll Racing. Pretty decent label. A little scuff right there. Uh, be about 30 bucks. Pretty popular game right here. Super Mario RPG. Tiny bit of label wear there. Uh, still pretty solid copy. Uh, we'll be at about 50 bucks. Decent Final Fantasy 3. Pretty good label. $50. Good Taito title here. Ninja Warriors. It's got a bad label right there. Um, because of that, I'm thinking about 100 to 110. I think price charting has it at 126 at the moment. That's what it was yesterday, so uh come off a little bit because of that that there. But it has been going up steadily, so get a copy before it gets uh, too pricey. <laughs> Uh, Kirby's Dream Land, uh, Kirby's Dream Land 3. I've never had this game. I've always wanted it. Pretty, uh, it's a decent label. There's a little bit of wear. Um, it's a game that fluctuates in price a lot sometimes. I'm thinking on this copy is about 70 bucks. Another game that's getting up there a little bit. Ufia 2, Rise of the Seneschals. Again, a little bit of label wear. I wish I could have gotten some nicer condition uh, Super Nintendo games. It didn't happen for me. But uh, you gotta get what you can. It's a Mexico label, so it's susceptible to wear more easily than a Japan label. Um, on this copy, we'll be at about 75 And a pretty decent copy of Sunset Riders. A little bit of label wear. I'm too serious. Uh, we'll be at about $70 on this guy. Uh, I bought a lot of Mega Man stuff. <laughs> so let's start with uh, what I think is the rarest one. And that is Mega Man 5 for Game Boy. Pretty decent label. It has like just a, a tad bit of wear right there on the V and 5. Um, pretty good game. You, net, you hardly ever see this one. I'm thinking about 100 bucks. You get a price on this one. Got a copy of Mega Man Legends 2 for really nice disc. Uh, it looks like you're staring into a black hole when you look at it. The manual is really nice. Uh, pretty good, decent jewel case. Um, on this one, I'm thinking about 140 on this copy. Kind of a high-end, complete in-box game here is Mega Man 7. Not too shabby, it does have some wear on the corners. Uh, it 
I think uh, I think the box is in about that that six range, six out of ten uh, for me. Um, manual is about six point five or seven. Uh, no bends or creases really, just a little bit of wear on the spine, and it, it's not like real crisp. I mean, it, you you can see that it's been it's been flipped through, but it's it's really not bad though. Uh, and the cartridge is great um, for being a Mexico label. It has this like a tiny bit of that sheen that was there originally, but goes away really quickly. It's still there. Um, usually, that's a dead giveaway for a repro label, but this the sheen isn't. Uh, it's not uh, it's not that heavy. So, and of course, you can just look at the label and see around the edge where it's not white. It's actually the black paper so it's it's a solid copy it is legit um it's just really nice uh <laughs> i love the label i just love the box art on these um this copy i'm thinking about five hundred dollars uh more mega man stuff complete run for nes so mega man one pretty nice label on this one you get about seventy dollars this one we had uh, belong to Morris. He wrote his name right there, kind of into the paper. So he wrote it on the back too, Morris. Uh, this one probably about sixty to sixty-five because of that. Pretty nice copy of Mega Man Two. Very glossy. Um, this one probably about thirty-five because it's a nicer copy. Uh, Mega Man Three, also not bad. Uh, twenty or twenty-five in that range. Mega Man 4 has a little bit of label damage up there at the top. Um, still a pretty solid copy. Uh, I'm pretty confident about 40 bucks on this one. Kind of sad looking Mega Man 5. Uh, I can't get that ink off there without wearing down the texture on the cartridge. Uh, so it probably has to stay. And there's this label damage there. Um, nice ones of these I see selling for like 90 to 100 bucks either on eBay or at conventions. Um, so it is up there. Uh, this this particular copy, I'm thinking about 80 bucks because of the wear, so. And a really nice copy of Mega Man 6, which will be at about 50 bucks on this one. Also for the AS, um, while well, at the show, I picked up some, uh, I did get a Metal Storm, but that uh, traded away. And I also got a copy of DuckTales 2. I've never owned that game. I've always wanted to. And uh, that also got sold slash traded at the show. But with that, I also got this DuckTales 2 manual. And it is really nice. It's in that like 8 out of 10 range, near mint to mint. Um, no rips or tears. It's, it's pretty nice. Uh, I never have luck selling manuals at conventions, so this will probably be an eBay piece. And... I'm pretty confident at about $100 on this particular manual. So. Also for the NES, we got 5-Screw Metroid. Got a little bit of label wear up there. Um, so for those who know, 5-Screws uh, are always more popular. I'm thinking about $20 on this one, even with the label damage. Uh, if that wasn't there, it could easily bring $25 to the right guy. So. Gyro Might. Why would I buy this? It has a Famicom converter. Pretty nice. Um, we'll be at about $30 on these. That's usually what we get out on. Pretty nice copy of Darkwing Duck. That seems to be a kind of popular convention since right now. A lot of people uh, see it and ask for it. I'm thinking about $50 on this copy. And finally for the NES, uh, this is my favorite game that I got over the weekend. It is... Little Samson. Pretty decent copy. Um, it has a little bit of, has that little tear right there. Um, that's really the only thing wrong with it. We popped it open. It's a good circuit board. Uh, we played it. Played perfectly fine the other night. It's a pretty cute game, actually. That was the first time I got to play it, so uh, I had fun with it. Um, this copy, I'm thinking about 950 on this one. Uh, Last one I had had similar label damage. I had that on consignment. Uh, I got $900 out of that one. So this one's similar, plus the market's gone up since then. Uh, I've seen them sell for $1,000 at conventions. Uh, similar pricing on eBay. So I know price sharing is a little lower than that, but this isn't, a, this isn't your average auction item either. So 
about 950 bucks on this copy. Uh, the last items I had to show you we did not pick up at the convention. We actually got these at a store in Louisville on our way home. Um, a gentleman just got in a complete library of Sega CD. Every game. I take that back. He was missing like two. He was missing one and he sold one. So, there. <laughs> That's what it was. They were just beautiful. Gorgeous, untouched. Um, they came in a collector who had just upgraded and upgraded and upgraded throughout the years. And they are nice. And uh, my buddy Matt from Forever Games, he bought a sack too. He got all the Lunars and uh, the uh, Shiny 4 CD, uh, some other good titles. Um, I got the four good ones though. Uh, four of the five at least. And I will start off by showing you Popful Mail. As you can see, this is just gorgeous. I mean, they're they're just beautiful. Um, the manuals are crisp. They were stored correctly, so there's absolutely no gravity wear on the back of them. Anyone who collects Sega CD and Sega Saturn knows what I'm talking about. Uh, that's just not there. Um, the box art is amazing. The discs are just immaculate. They look like they were never played. Uh, this one is already taken and spoken for, so... Can't price it to you, but if I were to sell this, uh, probably would have been about 200 around that range for that copy, maybe 220. Poffle Mail, I think, is the fifth rarest. Uh, fourth rarest then would be Space Adventure, or maybe not rarest, at least valuable. So, again, just amazing condition. Uh, this particular copy, I'm thinking about 250 on this one. Down. Uh, third would be the Smurfs, but he, that is one that he did not have, so we weren't able to get that. But that brings us up to two, which is the Hideo Kojima classic, Snatcher. Just an amazing condition. I mean, these are just great. <sighs> on this particular one, I'm thinking about $450 on this one. And last, that brings us up to number one, which is KO. Again, just great. This is a good shooter. I mean, it's rare. You, I've never seen this at a convention. Um, I mean, this is really one that you just you only see it on eBay. You know, I'm gonna take this out here. I want to show you this the manual. I mean, it's just phenomenal. Ooh. I mean, it's just crisp. The only wear on this is where the uh, the prongs that hold it in on the case have touched it up. So you can see it like right there. I mean, just look at that back. I mean, you can just tell by the back. Usually you'll have that gravity wear here where, the, where it lays in the case. It's just not there. It's just not. It's amazing. I mean, it still has the send off. I mean, it's just, it's amazing. We were so, we were so fortunate to find these. This one um, is already spoken for as well. Uh, it's going, I mean, it's already sold pretty much. Um, so I won't tell you the price I sold it for to give that guy some privacy, but uh, it wasn't cheap. It's in like the top five of what this game is sold for, at least uh, according to price charting. Maybe some buy now is sold for more, but it's, it's probably like the third highest this game sold for before, so. Because it is. It's that nice. Um, but, yeah, Snatcher and Space Adventure are available, though. So, uh, all, all the stuff you saw in this video will be uh, for sale at our next show. And that is Power Up. Uh, that is August 29th in Huntington, West Virginia at the Big Sandy Superstore Arena. That's in downtown Huntington. I'm not sure of the show hours. Excuse me. I'm assuming it's probably like 10 to 6. Uh, they have a website. Uh, I'll drop that down in the link below so you can click on that. Uh, they're also on Facebook. Uh, and Ben at Rare Drops, which is a store in Huntington. He's the guy that runs the show. Uh, get in touch with him. That's The store's Rare Drops. It's a pretty nice store down there. Uh, pretty decent. Uh, I went in, I've been there once, and I was, I was pretty impressed uh, for what they're doing down there. So... 
again, that's Power Up, August 29th. Other than that, uh, as always, like us on Facebook, watch our other videos. Uh, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.